Okay, so in the previous video, I talked about how to test for the functional form misspecification using an F-test. In this video, I'm going to talk about a more general test for testing functional form misspecification and the test is called reset or regression specification error test. And the logic behind using this test is as follows. Suppose our model looks something like this and we want to know whether we should be including higher order terms of uh, these x variables on the right hand side. So what we can do is we can start by estimating our model and get the fitted values of y and then we can estimate a model of the form. So this is the estimated model or the estimated values of y hat that we get from estimating our original model and then we can include a square term of this y hat and a cubic term of this y hat variable in the model. If we look closely here, this y hat, it includes x1 square, x2 squared, up to xk squared, as well as x1, x2, x1, x3, and so on. So this uh, y hat square term, it contains all these terms inside it. So we are essentially testing whether there is functional form misspecification and we should be including these x variables in a square term and also we should be including these x variables in interaction terms. And similarly, this y hat cube, it contains all these cubic terms, etc. And all we have to do is we have to test for the null hypothesis that whether delta 1 and uh, delta 2 are equal to 0. And we can use an F test or an LM test to test whether delta 1 and delta 2 are equal to 0. And if uh, each 0 is rejected, it implies that there is functional form misspecification in our model. So you can also include uh, more higher order terms on the right hand side of this equation but the problem is the interpretation will be very hard. So one problem with the reset test is it provides uh, little guidance on how to proceed if our H0 is rejected. So by rejecting H0 we know that there is misspecification in our model but it does not guide us on the origin of this specification and how to proceed with it. So be cautious while using this test. Alright, I'll see you in the next video to show you an example. Bye-bye.